Hey guys, how's it going? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to write a C program for implementing Lagrange interpolating polynomials. So basically, um, what these Lagrange interpolating polynomials do is that let's say you are given n plus 1 data points, that is x i by i, then what this interpolating polynomial will do is um, it will be a polynomial of degree less than or equal to n that is one less than the number of data points and it will pass through all the given data points that is all the n plus one data points in order to illustrate it a little more a little more pictorially or graphically what you can do is you can head on to the Wolfram page for Lagrange interpolation polynomial or interpolating polynomials and then you can see that um, let's say you're given two data points now the uh, best way to connect these two points would be through a line. So here we have a linear Lagrange interpolating polynomial as the best fit for interpolating these two points. However, if you're given three points, then maybe a two degree interpolating polynomial would do the trick. And similarly, you can connect four points, five points by, uh, you know, by polynomial whose degree is less than or equal to one less the number of data points. So this is what we could do using the Lagrange interpolating polynomial. So given only data points, you could generate a function or an interpolating polynomial that would pass through all these points and thus you could use it to, you know, um, interpolate the value between these points. So if you wanted to find the value of your function or data or any x lying between these points, then it would be a good approximation to do so. So there are many sources on the internet, so you can either check out Wikipedia page, Wolfram page, or any other page. However, for your convenience, what I've done is I've written a blog post on my blog, that is braggedoff.com. So here I have provided all the necessary information that you'll be needing. So basically, um, we'll be, you know, needing n plus one data points, x i y i, and then we'll be you know, calculating the Lagrange interpolating polynomial. And the formula for this is given as P of X, where P is the Lagrange interpolating polynomial equals to summation of Li of X times Yi. So Y are your Y axis data points and Li of X is another auxiliary function and you will be summing it all over all the data points. So that is why my index are starting from zero to n. So we have n plus 1 data points therefore and let's say I have indexed them such as x0, y0 as the first pair of data points and x1, y1 as the second pair up to x and yn that would be the n plus 1 -th pair of data points. So from these you will get the value of yi and then li of x would be calculated using another formula. So here is the formula for that. So it is a product of you know x minus xj divided by xi minus xj such that j index goes from 0 to n that is through all the points data points that is n plus 1 data points and such that j is never equal to i so basically li of x is given as like um, x minus x0 by xi minus x0 times x minus x1 divided by xi minus x1 times and so on such that j is never equal to i. So these are the two formulas that we'll be using. So coming to the code. So what I have provided here is I provided the complete program or the source code for implementing such a um, procedure and then you can even have a look at the output. So in this tutorial what I'll be doing is instead of writing the code from scratch I'll just be you know copying it and explaining it to you um, in steps that is what is going on here so um, coming to the program so basically as I already told you what we need to calculate is the P of X or PN of X whatever you like to call it so what we can do is we can create a function called PN so here we have a function called PN which would return the, um, you know, this value of the Lagrange interpolating polynomial. So Pn of x would be my Lagrange interpolating polynomial. For a given value of x, it will give me the interpolated value. 
so here I have the function pn and what it takes as arguments is it takes the information of the number of data points that is n so however don't be confused because in my you know blog post and everywhere the convention I'm using is that we have n plus one data points so here you could either you know have n or you could either have n plus one so in my convention n means that we are uh, you know using one n here is one less than the total number of data points however the actual number of data points is basically n plus one so in this program the first argument would be n so that we know how many data points we are dealing with then the second argument would be the x axis data points then the third argument would be the y axis data points now as you can notice here it, it is a um, it is an array a single dimensional array x of size n plus one so that's how you know we are dealing with n plus one data points and then again we have another array y which stores the value of y axis data points and it is again of the size n plus one and they are both of the type double so that we can deal with decimal values and then we have the last argument that is x or uppercase x which would be the value of x for which we want to evaluate the interpol or we want to interpolate the function so x here would be this thing right here so we have this function in this program and what it would do is it will you know return this thing or this summation of li of x times yi so coming back to the code so we initialized a or declared a variable sum and initialized it to zero and then we initiate um, declared another variable i of the integer type to run the loop and then we have a loop going from i equals zero to i equal to n as seen here so our loop goes from zero to n and then we will make sum equal to sum plus li of x kind of thing times yi pretty much similar to what we had here so li of x times yi so in order to calculate or evaluate li of x that is this thing I have another function in my program li so this function would return the value of uh, you know corresponding to li of x however unlike this one it, my program would take multiple arguments such as the first parameter would be i then the second parameter would be n so that we know how many data points we are dealing with and n here basically is one less than the total number of data points so the total number of data points is n plus one and then the third parameter would take the x-axis data points as an array and then the last argument would be capital or uppercase x that is it would return the value of li for a given capital x and then the next thing would be to evaluate this product and that is done pretty much easily by first declaring a variable following the for loop and then initializing a variable called prod to one and this would be storing the product so we run a loop from zero to n or j equals 0 to n as you can see here 0 to n and then we also make sure that j is not equal to i and then we make prod equal to prod times x minus xj divided by xi minus xj pretty much similar to what we have here x minus xj divided by, x, divided by xi minus xj so that is the two functions that you will be needing to evaluate the Lagrange interpolation or interpolating value or whatever you want to call it now coming to the main part of the program so we initialize a few variables where n is the you know one minus the total number of I mean n is the total number of data points minus one or one less than the total number of data points so you can maybe even call it degree because Lagrange interpolation or interpolating polynomial basically gives you a polynomial of degree less than or equal to one less than the total number of data points so then you will enter the number of data points and as I told you that um, I wanted n to be 
one less than the total number of data points and here I'm getting the value of n from the user which stands for data points that is n plus one so I have made one more step that is it makes sure that n becomes one less than the total number of data points so here I make n equal to n minus one and then uh, we create two arrays of sizes n plus one because n plus one is the number of data points so we call them x and y and these will be storing the value of the data points so we just prompt the user to enter the x data points and then we have a loop that scans those values in the array x and then we prompt the user to enter the y data points and then we have another loop that scans those values in an array y and then we declare another variable called uppercase x and this would be the value of x for which the interpolated value is required and then we prompt the user to enter this value of x for which they want to interpolate the value of y of x and then we scan that value and then finally we print the interpolated value by calling the function pn and passing all the necessary parameters basically this function will return the value of the interpolating polynomial for a given x provided we will need this function too in our resource code that is li so that's it and now we can try to run it one time and see how it works so here we, it prompts us to enter the number of data points so let's say i'm going to be entering four data points and then let's say the data points are one two three four and let's say we are you know giving x squared values so that would be 1 4 9 16 and let's evaluate the value of the function for 1.5 and we get the interpolated value to be 2.25 which is good because 1.5 squared is actually 2.25 so as you can see the program works pretty well and you can try it for a, um, a variety of data points and see how good this approximation is for polynomial interpolations and even some special interpolations uh, involving exponentials or things such as that so that's it i'll make sure to add the link to this blog post in my uh, in the description down below so you can check it out and use this source code and have a look at it i've also added a um, link to an android app that i created so basically this app you know does the exact same thing that I showed you in this um, tutorial or this C program with the added benefit of a cool Android GUI so unlike using your you know black screens of C you would be you know welcomed by a nice looking GUI where you can enter the number of data points and you can enter the data points and then it will show you the plot of the interpolating polynomial as well so as you can see it will show you the original data points by these dark circles and the interpolating polynomial by this continuous curve and you can even set the ranges for this plot and even interpolate the value you by for a given x so this is the app that I've created for Android so you can check it out and that's it thanks for watching and in case you enjoy this video then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thanks for watching and have a great day